So today we are going to cover the boot error on HP laptops that refers to the 90B cooling fan error. If you boot your HP laptop and you see the following error, it means one of the following. The temperature inside the laptop case is too hot and the fan cannot properly remove all the hot air. The fan is not working or the fan is working improperly which could cause the fan to spin poorly and even loudly. Ignoring this error could result in damaging your computer which could become very costly for repairs or even cause you to have to buy a brand new computer. HP recommends the following as a fix and I will show you step by step how to do them all. HP recommends the following as a fix and I will show you step by step on how to do it. I will be paraphrasing so I will also post HP's actual instructions word for word and the link to their page uh, down below. First you will need the following, a screwdriver set, canned air, and potentially a new system fan or CPU fan. Step one, if the system fan spins and is blowing warm air out of the computer, Clean all the exterior vents by blowing air through the vents, vent openings. Do this while the laptop is powered off. My fan is working, so I need to start by cleaning all of the vents. So there's a vent here and down below. If step one doesn't work, Step two is to perform a hard reset by powering off the computer. This is to reset the record thermal values in memory so you can get into your PC to save any of your files to an external hard drive, thumb drive, and so on and so forth. So to do the hard reset, first what you want to do is power down the laptop, remove from a power source such as a docking station or charger, You'll open it up and remove the battery, and then you'll want to press and hold the power button for 15 seconds to remove all residual power. So let's go ahead and do that. So now I'm going to go ahead and perform step two and do the hard reset. I've already got the computer turned off and disconnected from the charger, so now I need to take the whole back off in order to get to the battery. Alright, so I've already got six screws out, but it's not going to come apart because HP decided to cover or cover two screws here. So got to peel that off to get to those. Not only did they cover them, but they changed them to Phillips instead of the forks. So you make sure that these are not covered in dust at all. So now I need to remove the battery connection. Thankfully, I don't have to pull out the whole battery. It's just the connection that it wants. So got it disconnected here. Now I'm going to hold the power button for 15 seconds. So I took it a step further and held it for 20 seconds. Now I'm going to reconnect it. Step three is to update the BIOS. From my research, this typically helps a lot of people, but for me, I know it's not going to. So I'm actually going to skip step three and go straight to step four. And once I open it up, get it all closed, then I will go back to step three and make sure that my BIOS is up to date. Step four is to have the computer serviced. What this means is to have the system fan replaced if necessary check the CPU fan, clean the internals, remove any dust, and ensure that all wires are connected. More specifically, make sure that the wires from the system and CPU fans are connected securely to the motherboard. Ensure that all of the fan blades spin correctly on the system fan. Remove old thermal compound from integrated circuits and heat sinks and then replace them with new thermal compound. I'm going to make sure all the internals are clean, everything is connected, the fan's working properly, and there's no dust buildup or anything like that. So I've already checked this part of the case, it looks fine. Going in here, all of this dust doesn't look like there's any dust buildup in there. So everything's good on that part. I'm going to take some canned air and just lightly blow on everything. I'm going to hold this fan while I blow in here 
to not cause the fan to spin and mess anything up. Got everything blown out. There was a little chunk of plastic in there that looked like it was broke. I'm not sure if that came from the case, like the bottom part of the case up here, or if it came from somewhere else, but the fan seems to be spinning fine, uh, seems to be stopping fine. I don't think the fan is messed up like I had originally thought. So I'm gonna go through and check all of my connections that I can visually see and make sure that there's no issues with connections, thermal compound, or anything else. So everything looks good, everything looks clean, doesn't look like there's any major issues or any issues at all. As mentioned in my other videos, before you go playing around inside a computer, make sure that you're grounded and you know, you're not going to shock the motherboard or any other internal parts for and causing any further damage. So I don't think this is the fan. Should it have been the fan, we'd have to replace this whole piece. And that's not always easy because I'm sure there's, there's thermal compound in there as well as several small screws. Uh, it actually looks like a few screws of different sizes, three different sizes, two different colors. So it, it looks like a mess. Plus, uh, you know, the connections and everything. So I think we're fine. So we're going to go put this together and then we're going back to step three where we have to update the BIOS. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and boot into BIOS, which is step three. If you can't figure out what your BIOS version is or how to update inside of booting into BIOS, there is a way through Windows that you can go ahead and that you can go ahead and update your BIOS from HP's website or their support administrative tool, which is one thing that I'm going to do so that way I can actually check other updates as well. If you do not have the HP Support Assistant, I highly suggest that you get it from their website. It's great for everything, whether looking at your devices or looking for updates and so on and so forth. Uh, even diagnostics and your profile, if you have several HPs, you can go ahead and get all this taken care of in one shot. So right now I've got it checking for updates. It's going to download it and take care of it for me. Now that the computer is fixed, it should no longer have the 90B error upon boot up. Along with the video instructions, I have included links to HP's website for you to read further into. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.